Hello, it's Suzanne here from Aussie Beach TV. We're at the Freedom Summits in Brisbane today with... Stuart. And what brings you here today? I'm one of the speakers. I'll be speaking on the credit liberation processes tomorrow. I'm a presenter at the summits and I'm Mr X. And uh, I talk to people about fines and infringements and um, the legitimacy of councils and those sorts of things. My name is Charles Crawshaw um, and uh, I'm from Ocean Shores in New South Wales. I'm one of the speakers here today, so I'm talking on, um, this, there's a cross between, I kind of cover a, a few bases. One is consciousness, you know, getting out of ego, getting down into heart, looking at diet, looking at the physical side of us, what happens on the physical side of us when we do certain things. I was the man responsible for causing the fire breathers in the opening ceremony of the Sydney Olympic Games as a stand for world peace. Wow. So uh, I'm here certainly from that conversation uh, in terms of uh, the coaching that I got about causing world peace on this planet is uh, the more people that take a stand for world peace by 2020, the more likely it will happen. Yeah. That makes sense. So uh, never doubt that a small group of committed individuals can make a difference. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has Margaret Mead. We offer processes for people who are struggling with their debt to help them rid the banks off their backs and debt collectors off their backs yeah. and we we offer a, a service basically to help people who are really struggling financially. I'm uh, Ian R. Crane and um, here I am in Brisbane. It's the fourth uh, Freedom Summits event that I have participated in. We started in Perth then we went across to uh, Sydney, then Melbourne last weekend and then this is the grand finale uh, here at the uh, conference centre here and I guess the G20 was here uh, a few days ago it was, yes it was. And you can literally feel the sleaze and the corruption just oozing out of the walls here. Yes. So uh, I think we're here to uh, somewhat change the energy a little bit. We're not great people, we're not dirty, we're not mean. We love everybody, but we do as we please. And when the summer is fine, we go swimming, we go swimming in the South Bank pool. What do you think everyone would get out of today? Well, uh, different things. The weekend is actually mostly about bringing attention to the sex slave industry. So our our focus at um, Freedom Summits is to, to, to provide information to as many people as possible, but at the same time with an agenda for us, which is to save girls from the sex slave industry in Thailand, Cambodia and Laos. Uh, in particular, this one is uh, to do with Free to Shine. And uh, Nikki Mee, who is uh, the CEO of Free to Shine, will speak tomorrow. We've got um, Tony Abbott recently announcing that so uh, Australians need to be prepared to give up their freedoms for uh, uh, what I consider to be a non-existent threat. Um, unfortunately, we're seeing the same thing everywhere else in the world. We're seeing it in the UK, we're seeing it in, in the US, in Canada, in New Zealand, uh, where this fear porn is being perpetrated to try to get people to literally go, oh, gosh, you know, the, the bogeyman, the bogeyman, yes, I'll give up my freedoms. And uh, they're even now talking about um, identifying non-violent domestic extremists who need to be treated in the same way as ISIS, uh, which I think is very interesting because they're actually running very scared right now. They know that people are starting to wake up to this massive con, you know, whether it's a financial con or, um, you know, the tax con. Look, we all get little bits and pieces. Some of them look at, you know, the food, the diet side of it. Others are looking at, you know, getting out of fines, getting out of debt, writing off their credit cards, you know, doing all those sort of things. So I guess people get different things depending on why they came. But at the end of it, when you've watched the whole thing, what you get out of it is, oh, Oh my god everything's bullshit <laughs> you know everything I look at in life is bullshit we're caught up in this matrix you know is a good example of it and there's a movie out at the moment which I saw the other day that interstellar and, and a bit of it is that they're going behind the scenes of what's really going on there's a another level is sort of like going into the black hole and what's on the other side and it's really like that we look at what we see
see here is not really what's going on. There's a whole new, different agenda. So we're basically just sheep to a system of lies and bullshit and corruption. And, you know, we might as well just, you know, pull down our pants and bend over and let them fuck us because that's what's happening anyway. We also talk about not-for-profit foundations, how you can operate privately as opposed to publicly and the difference between the two and what is a public organisation and what is a private organisation, how that jurisdiction that we spoke about with councils then ties into debts and, and bank loans and car loans and personal loans and your mortgage. And by the way, you know what mortgage means? Paying off your house. Yeah, paying off your house. <laughs> mortgage, death grip. Yeah. Mortgage. So in other words, once you sign that document, You're they've stuck. got you. Yeah. They've got you and they know that all you can do is keep running ever faster on the treadmill. So the challenge is actually to sort of step off that treadmill and say, you know what, I actually want to live my life as I want to live it. Yeah. And if I want to make a social contribution in some way, then I'll do that. But there's also some great humour. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got uh, Samantha Backman. Why am I here, you ask? Why are you going to ask me anyway? What is this? What am I doing here? Oh, hello. <laughs> and what um, is so fantastic about the Freedom Summits events is that they have very, very real solutions. And I know you're going to be speaking to a lot of speakers and also the people that are attending the events. Yes. And, and hopefully what they're going to take away with it is they're going to pick up on something that they can then go away and actually actively participate in bringing about the changes that we all know we need to see. When the sun goes down, we can make it, make it good and early pie. Why don't we hear about any of this in the mainstream news and pop culture? Um, well, that's very deliberate, because if people knew about it, then obviously they might actually realise that uh, they're being scammed. And uh, the establishment really just want to keep people in this, um, uh, this, this prison. It is a prison. The worst thing that you can possibly do is go home and watch the news. Turn your TV off. Don't it's watch depressing. the TV. It's depressing. It's designed <laughs> yeah. to be depressing. Yeah. It's designed to actually get you into a state of fear, intimidation and hopelessness. Yeah. Mainstream media is not really... Well, it's showing what they want to show versus what we want to show, if that, that makes sense. exactly right. Turn, Turn off, off your TV, TV and, and watch, watch Aussie Beach TV. TV. So instead of watching the television to get all our all of our information, where do we go? Where to get everything? Where do we turn? Um, it's a great question. Uh, look, I would first thing I'd say is is talk to your family. Yep. I mean, talk to the people that you love. You know, if you interact with them, you turn the TV off. You've got nothing to do. Um, talk to your partner. I mean, make love to your partner. Talk to your kids. Teach them about this stuff. Don't just stick them in front of the computer or the TV and allow them to just do what they want to do and spend eight, ten hours a day infecting their minds with this sort of stuff. If you're going to go onto the internet, do research. I mean, watch things like you guys, Aussie Beach TV. Get onto our site, Freedom Summits, and it's www, all the W's, freedomsummits.org. Truthology, another fantastic sh um, uh, website. There's over 840 videos on that. You can spend hours and hours and hours researching this information, making yourself aware of so many different topics, but at the same time, educating your family and friends and those that you love, okay? Aussie Beach TV. Again, one of the things that hopefully comes out of these conferences is that people will realise that being apathetic yeah. is no longer an option. They actually have to get involved. And it's good for everyone to know that all this stuff's on so they can Well, get... if you don't know, yeah. you know, then you, unfortunately you live in willful ignorance or that's maybe it. even not willful ignorance because you just don't know. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. And, but you know, when, when you do know, then that comes with a responsibility. And uh, you either have to say, no, 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 and deliberately then go into willful ignorance yeah. um, or you have to say you know what actually the legacy that we are potentially leaving future generations is uh, potentially horrendous yeah. and you know we either do something about it or um, we may be condemning future generations to lives of absolute abject misery and uh, that doesn't rest easy with me yeah. sing along with us dee 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 da do da 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 yeah we're ha happy la do da do da do do da do do da do do da do da you're watching me on Aussie Beach TV woohoo Aussie 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 oi 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 have a drink have a drive go out and see what you can find if a dad is real, take her out for a meal And if a dad is poor, just do what you feel Ride along the lane, do a ton or do a ton and twenty-five When the sun goes down, we can make it, make it good and early pie We're not great people, we're not dirty, we're not mean, we love everybody